I'm gonna say B. Final B. answer. God, let it be right. No, it's seven. Oh no, man. At least I don't have to do a redemption video. The holograms are gonna kill me though. Hey everybody, welcome to David's World. In this video, I'm, do, uh, I'm going to be doing my 16th game of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire 2nd Edition for the PlayStation I console. The show. Just me? Ready. No instructions, thank you. Before we get going, I'll need your name. I'm gonna put in Gem again. Because for some reason, I promised myself that I'd keep putting in... Putting in... Putting in Gem. Until I win the million again. So, yeah, and I need at least $32,000, otherwise I have to do a redemption video. Now, I know I've been playing this for the last three game show videos, but... First question. You know, I've been compelled to playing this game. I don't know why. Oh, don't forget, today's a double day. So, here we go, 400 bucks. For whom, from whom, derp, does the Lutheran Church get its name? Martin Luther King Jr., Martin Luther... Luther Vandross or Lex Luther? That would be Lex Luther. You're going with me. I'm just messing with you. It's Martin Luther. Not to be confused with Martin Luther King. You won the hundred, but before you pat yourself on the oh, back. Oh man, wanted to pat myself on the back right now. And now here comes your two hundred dollar question. All right, for two hundred dollars. The sport of judo comes from what country? Japan, Vietnam, Laos, or the Philippines? It's gotta be Japan. You're going with yeah, it's a final answer. You got yes. I knew it had to be Japan, probably, because you know, judo. That sounds $200 Japanese. Level. Big deal. Yeah, yeah. Be quiet. We just just wait till I answer the next baker's dozen questions. So for three hundred bucks. What term describes someone who does not believe in the existence of God? Wow, that's a pretty harsh question. Hedonist, deist, I don't know how to pronounce that. Agnostic or atheist? I think they are an atheist. So you think it's D? Yes! Yeah! I just took a wild guess there. You're on fire. You're up to uh, three. Thank you, Regis. I got a regular dozen and questions now, now. Check out your five hundred dollar question. Uh, five hundred bucks. Who was the first president to resign from office of the U.S. Rather, Van Buren, Jackson, Andrew Johnson, or Nixon? That is D. Richard Nixon. Final answer. You're gonna go with D, huh? I probably should have read their first names as well. Thank you. I read Andrew Johnson by his full name because two presidents, count them two, had Johnson as their last name. Hey, that's terrific. Five hundred dollars. Okay, here it is. Time now for your one thousand dollar question. Here we go. That way you can see it. That's it. See a lot. Here we go for a thousand bucks. Hold on, let me pause the game. I'll set the camera a little bit better. Because I remember when I asked the audience in my last game, um, it cut off some of the numbers. So yeah. With what would you use a wah-wah pedal? A bike? A stock car? An electric guitar? Or a baby? I'm going to see what one of Regis' friends thinks, because I think it's an electric guitar. Alright, photo friend it will be. We'll call the Amazing Girl. Ooh, the Amazing, the amazing Girl. Incredible at this. Hey, agreed. Okay, we're gonna get some audio, don't worry, guys. I'm sorry for the time I took trying to set up the camera and everything, but, you know. I just wanted to make sure you could see everything. He thinks it's an electric guitar. I think I just burned a lifeline. 
I don't know why we didn't get any audio there. Oh, derp. Uh, this isn't the PC version. I pressed C. Okay, following the advice. I pressed the C key when it's supposed to be the H key that should be pressing for square. Thank you, Amazing Robot. I could have done it without your help. Yeah. Sorry, Bundle Lifeline. Hey, look at this. At least I got done. two others. Very nice. And you are at a safe haven. Now, most people use the Ask the Audience Lifeline first. But if we're in the first five, if I'm in the first five questions, I like to use phone a friend first. Because I want to save the audience for higher up. Alright, so for two grand. Which of these is sometimes referred to as the royal disease? Rickets, measles, hemophilia, or tuberculosis? I believe it's hemophilia. I know it's not rickets. I know it's not measles. And I don't think it's tuberculosis. It is hemophilia! Yes! Alright. I remember this question, but I forgot the answer. And then when I have to ask the audience for a question that I asked them the last time. Alright. I mean, uh, previously. Alright. Not the last time, though. So for 4,000 bucks, what famous folk singer founded the Institute for the Study of Nonviolence in 1965? Bob Dylan, Woody Guthrie, John Baez, or Peter Yarrow? That is C, John Baez, final answer. Okay, you think it's answer C? I know it's C. So, just tell me I got $4,000. Lucky seven. Alright. Thousand dollars. Very good. Thousand dollars. Right? <laughs> Up next. So I get with a jumpy emulator. Here we go. All right. So the craziest question. I'm eight away from a million. I'm on the eighth question, and this question is worth eight thousand dollars. What former Today Show personality played a neighbor on the TV sitcom The Hogan Family? Jane Pauley, Willard Scott, Deborah Norville, or Joe Garagiola? I forgot the answer to this question too, so I'm gonna ask the audience. <laughs> I think it's Deborah Norville, but no, it's Bullet Scott, because I know the audience gets this one right. Well, there you go. Good luck. You have 15 seconds to answer. I just want to say thank you, audience, in advance. Thanks for saving me. What the people say. Because I know the audience gets this one right. Now, I didn't set the percentage numbers because I got this question before on camera. And it's always the same percentage numbers as usual. Now, how about that $16,000 question? Yes, how about it? I only have my 50 50 left. Let's hope I don't have to burn it. Which company holds an annual self named Bake Off? Betty Crocker, Duncan Hines, Pillsbury, or Keebler? That is C, Pillsbury. Final answer. I've never really heard okay, about it until I got this safe. question. I wonder if they still do the Bake Off. Right. I've been wondering that. Pillsbury still do their annual Bake Off. Crap. My iPod's running low on battery. Okay, that puts you with I'm going to go only six get the charger. To go. Now here it comes for 32000 Alright, I'm on the brink of securing myself the continuation of my run. I'm so sorry for the shaky camera. Which condition is caused by malfunctioning sebaceous glands? Bad breath, shingles, acne, or carpal tunnel syndrome? I am actually going to 50-50 on this one. I think it's acne. Would you please eliminate two of the four answers, leaving only one wrong answer and the correct Okay, sorry guys. Um, for some reason it stopped recording when I, um... Tried to plug in my iPod, but I'm going to say on this question, acne. Please be right, because I think bad breath is a okay, trick answer. answer C. I thought I was going to leave shingles and acne. Oh! I just burned another lifeline though. But that was just pure luck right there. My run will continue no matter what. But now I have to answer this next question without using a lifeline. Because nice I've got nothing to lose. And you've reached 
another milestone. That means the 32,000... So I burned all the... No, wait, I didn't burn my... Ask the audience. Folks, you're done patting yourself on the back. Hold on, wait. Good. Now here's your... Now I'm done patting myself on the back. I can't walk away on this question, because I've got nothing to lose. Let's hope I know the answer. Which of these household pets should be vaccinated for a part of a virus? A hamster, a cat, a dog, or a bird? That is C, a dog. Final answer. As I was saying, I did not burn my ass to the audience. They actually saved me, because I would have been wrong if I had gone for it on my own. Sorry for the shaky camera. I'm just kind of a little nervous. Because uh, for the past two games, I did not win the million. Let's hope I can win it this time. All right, you're just four questions away now. You're doing great. Thanks, Regis. I got 64 now we go grand. On to your 125,000. Which will get cut in half if I get it wrong. If I get this next question wrong. So here we go. This is for an eighth of a million dollars. What is the oldest European settlement? Uh, sorry, what is the oldest permanent European settlement in the U.S.? St. Augustine, Florida, Plymouth, Massachusetts, New Point News, Virginia, or Charlotte, North Carolina? That is A, St. Augustine, Florida. Final answer. I'm afraid if you use... I think if you use 50-50, it gets rid of C and D, leaving you with A and B. Well done. Because I think Plymouth would be the trick answer in this situation. Since Massachusetts was one of the original 13 colonies and Florida was not. Excellent work. You've got $125,000 in your pocket. Now for a quarter of a million. Alright, so if I get this wrong, goodbye $93,000. But if I get it right, my money doubles. So for two hundred and fifty grand, According to folklore, the jackalope is an, an antlered version of what animal? A chicken, a rabbit, a moose, or a snake? That's B, a rabbit, final answer. The moose already has antlers. Be, huh? Please be a rabbit. You got it. Yes, that's what I thought it was. Yeah. All right, get your wishlets ready, holograms. You're at two hundred and fifty. Gem's about to be a millionaire, hopefully. Next question right, and you'll double your money. Yay! And you'll lose two hundred and eighteen thousand. Boom. No no pressure. Now here it comes for a half million dollars. There's plenty of pressure here. Here we go for 500 grand. Like Regis said, if I get this wrong, I lose 218,000. Before he went into coaching, Phil Jackson played for which of the following basketball teams? The Boston Celtics, the LA Lakers, the New York Knicks, or the Philadelphia 76ers? That is, see the New York Knicks, and yes, it's my final answer. I should know this one. I am a huge Knicks fan, unfortunately. And they are doing a pretty crappy job. Well, doing a good job for one thing, losing. And you're right. Here we go for a million bucks. So I just lost the lag in my mouth. Man, I'm getting nervous for you. You're just one question away, and here it is. I'm one question away, and I'm nervous too. One. If I get this wrong, not only do I lose $468,000, but I'll also get the haunting of a lifetime, and the holograms will never forgive me. What was the first American college to become co-educational? Oberlin, Dartmouth, Grinnell, or Antioch? I don't know how to pronounce it, but either way, it's A, Oberlin, and yes, it's my final answer. Is that your final answer? Wait till the holograms find out. That I just got them, well, Jem just got them, a million dollars. Right on your wish list, holograms! Yes! Congratulations, you made it! I'm a millionaire! Well, between us, we're getting 250,000. Or 200,000 if you count the fifth hologram. There's the check! Jem is a millionaire! <laughs> the fifth hologram was in the talent search. I forgot what her name was, but let's just hear Regis say I didn't really win it. Hey, congratulations! You're a millionaire! Yeah, I know. I'm a fake millionaire. 
But come on, what did you expect? I expected I mean, a million dollars. The holograms are never going to forgive me if I don't give them their million dollars. Or 750,000 or 800,000 or whatever. But there's only one way to find I think it kind of was luck. See you next time. I'll see you next time, Regis. I am back where I belong. This is my 13th million dollar win. And I really want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe for a guaranteed video every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at midnight Eastern, 9 p.m. Pacific. I have a Facebook page and a website, which I'll leave links to in the description below. And don't forget, today's a double day. Okay, looks like the game froze up. Oh, there we go. Bot. Well, let me... Something I freaking downloaded. I don't know. Let's just, let's just hear the rest of the song. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.